Hey, what's up guys, best Storm, and welcome to 100 Reports, or something along that line. I, I'm probably not even gonna call it, I'm just, I'm just gonna call it 100 Reports, because I can call it whatever I want. That doesn't matter, it's probably gonna have very few updates in the future, but hey, you know what? That's not what this is all about. Because it's actually about... Well, me, 100% in games, I guess. Uh, as you can tell by the game on the screen here, I have supposedly 100% Cuphead, according to my knowledge. Uh, I didn't show it off, but the title screen had 200% and 100%, 200% total uh, completion, which is what I'm expecting to be the maximum. It should be the maximum. Uh, I'm going to be showing off uh, everything, basically, that I have completed in this game to an extent. Because uh, there's a lot to do in this game, and uh, from what I can tell, I'm pretty sure I did everything. Oh, this video series isn't about necessarily uh, doing a new thing, because this isn't really a new thing. Obviously, people have done it, and like it might not be surprising that uh, someone such as me may have completed the game and such. But you know what? It's not about the destination, it's about the journey. That probably isn't how that expression goes, but you know what? Well, let's go over what we can first talk about. Coins are the obvious thing here. Uh, by the way, we're taking into account the base game and DLC, which I have both completed, because that's how 300% goes, I guess. Uh, every weapon is purchased, and every super is obtained, but that's just mausoleums. And every charm is purchased. And also, Divine Relic is completed to its fullest potential, which is acquired by uh, defeating bosses with the Cursed Relic. And the Cursed Relic is attained after uh, having the Broken Relic and solving the puzzle in the, uh, the DLC. Technically, there is one thing I haven't completed, but it's not recorded. And more on that later, or I can just talk about it now because it's related to the Relic. Basically, there's a fight with the Angel and Devil duo. You don't really get recorded for that fight, which I'm really ashamed to say because technically that's the only fight I have an S ranked. And again, there's no expert, but I have an A plus in either. I really wish there was a listing for it. If the listing appears in the future, I'll go back and uh, go and get A plus slash if they happen to add its S rank. But I don't think it's gonna be. Ha it might not be happening. I don't know. But uh, on that note, uh, we can talk about how uh, I have indeed S ranked every single battle, and P ranked every single running gun level. Uh, I'd say the hardest is definitely Salt Baker. Uh, there were some tough ones like uh, actually it's not Salt Baker. Salt Baker only took me like thirty minutes. That's because uh, I made use of Chalice's extra hit. And yes, uh, I did do a lot of these with Chalice because she's just very helpful. She helps a lot. If it didn't, if I wasn't able to play as Chalice, then I wouldn't probably be able to get S rank on all, on all of them. More on that later. Uh, S for Winchester is pretty difficult, but it's nothing you can't get used to. No, no, no. There's two difficult ones that stand out, and they're all in one world, and it's not the finale, surprisingly enough. It's in World 2. Yes, Jimmy the Great. Which, yes, has a 2 minutes there, but I'll get to that. And of course, Wally Warbles. Uh, Jimmy the Great, the only problem with him was basically the fight basically took too long. And yes, it was very rough. Uh, for about. I think it took me an hour. Uh, it took me quite a bit because uh, I've always got like 215 around there. Because of mostly the auto scroll section, so I tried to speed it up and eventually I did get it after like an hour. Wally Warbles. If you know what Wally Warbles is, I'm an expert, then you know why this is very difficult. Uh, mostly the first phase, it shoots eggs uh, up and bottom, up to top and bottom, uh, instead of not top and bottom. And basically, Wally Warbles is just a lot harder. I think it actually took me more than an hour to beat Wally Warbles, and I would say Wally Warbles is, or not beat, but like, S rank. Took me like an hour 15, I think to uh, S ring Orb. It took me from 10.45 to 12, pretty sure. Um, I think that's not really anything else difficult. Uh, I mean, there's P ranks, but I did this on, like, recording, like, in my previous play in my actual playthrough on this channel, which is, uh, kind of surprising, but... 
hate when it says that. I don't know why I said that, but it's not that big of a deal. I'm just saying that. But uh, Rugged Ridge and Perilous Piers are awful. Let's just say that. Uh, going to our menu here, we have the achievements. I've obtained all of them. Uh, let's, let's see which ones are most difficult. I'd say the DLC ones are difficult. Such as 9 HP at one time. Uh, Shoutouts to me not knowing a game genie existed, so I did the King Dice fights with the Heart Ring to get 9 HP. It only took about 15 minutes, so it wasn't really that hard, but, you know. If I knew Game Genies, I said I wouldn't have to go through that struggle. Uh, this one, the hi hat was actually. I don't even know how I got this one. I'm pretty sure we, I got this on accident in multiplayer, which is weird. It, it might have been. It, it couldn't have been the mob. It might have been the giant. It, it probably was the giant. Clemson giant. Let's see. Oh, so Red Nightmare is the uh, the Angel and Devil duel. So I beat the other two. King's Gauntlet is not that hard, actually, eventually. This one, for some reason, was absolutely difficult because I think I just assumed that the boss meant, like, the end of the fight. But I think boss just means any phase if they're separate bosses. Maybe. I'm not sure. Basically, yeah, it took me 30 minutes or something, 20 minutes to defeat the root pack with the with the spiral pillar, which is the only one I thought. I only thought there was spiral pillar in the beginning. I don't know why I thought that. I just assumed that oh, chalice is a is a charm, so like your super art is only gonna move me to like one for some reason. Nope. Later, I found out that the uh, the uh, the extra hits one. I forgot the call. Shield Pal and Gulsi Barrage existed. Gulsi Barrage, by the way, being basically Zebra R1, but uh, there's a few differences. Sh Shield Pal is very helpful though. Uh, as for achievements, I don't think that isn't really much difficult. The, like, Bravo Zulu P26 is defeat a boss using mini, mini plane bullets, and I can just use it on uh, the monkey. Whatever the monkey is called. Mr. Chimes, yeah. So that one wasn't that hard. I also obtained all the, or at least, I'm pretty sure there's only two filters. Uh, black and white and chalice. Black and white you get for P ranking on the levels, and chalice. Uh, you beat every boss with chalice. And it makes her gold. It makes her, her original state in the... Uh, Okay, so the same palette as like in the mausoleums, and she uh, has that in uh, when you're playing, basically. I'm trying to figure out if there's anything I missed. Did I talk to this guy? Uh, I was like, um, uh, yeah. oh wait, no, I never had a two strip. There we go. I, I forgot the two strip existed. Uh, I'm, I'm glad I caught that here. Because the two strip is uh, this. I don't. It's like a TV or something. But yeah. Now I'm pretty sure I have all the visual stuff. Uh, I'm not sure what else there is. Uh, let me go check a list. I did write down like a whole list. Just give me a few minutes. I know this is very unorderly, but technically these are all gonna be unorderly. It's only going to be done when I actually eventually do quite a bit of 100%ing. Because I actually do, I actually did record 100% stuff before, just not in YouTube. And I really want it to be uh, recorded on YouTube so I could uh, th think of it as like a, a way to, okay. Divine Relic, DLC Achievements, DLC Normal Expert, Play Achievements. Uh... Yeah, I wrote both unlockable filters. I'm gonna change that, but I think that's basically it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure 100 percent Cuphead. Very fun game, and I'm still wanting to play it, which means, well, there's gonna be a slew of videos coming out soon that revolve around me playing it. But what about, well, basically me trying to speed through the game. Not necessarily speedrunning, but like, using my favorites and going through the game as normal. And uh, trying to beat the game that way. 
And including DLC, by the way. Uh, I'll have fun with that. Giving hopefully my personal tips. Not that they might help you, or maybe they may help you differently, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Alright, see you guys and stay safe. Bye.